Okay, so remember this room? Yeah. <laughs> There's just a hole in the wall here with some extra missiles, and that's what I missed. A bit of a shame, really. Oh, and that speed... That is also speed boosted. Okay. Uh, cool. Well, onward to Kraid. And how do we get to Kraid, you ask? Uh, uh, you take damage there, very important. But right above the map room square is something. Is missiles, yep. There we go, and now we can just zoom through. Waste more power bombs. And now we're now we're just there. Hey! Oh, making me freaking screw attack all the way through. God damn it. Now I didn't miss much here. Just another two missile packs, I believe. You know, I wanna ride this across. But I guess I'm not allowed. Can I jump back up? No, I can't. I wanted to ride it across, but instead I screw attacked my way. Uh, <laughs> there. Now we do. And now you guys stay the hell away from me. I would much prefer not to fall back into the acid again. Thank you. Yep, hello. Um, ba -ba -ba. and I believe one of the things we missed was in here. Yep. Under the a- Really? A shine spark thing, huh? That might be the exit. Let's not jump the gun. That might be the exit. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we we exit. Oh, we still we still got a ball spark though. And that is indeed the exit. How do we I have an idea. It's a stupid one, but it is an idea. If I do this, and then... Does that... Yeah, it does. Okay. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> so we do get the, the speed boost speed if we ball spark into the ledge like that. That's really cool. But also really dumb. Oh my god. I just want out, thank you. Okay, and then the other thing we missed is here behind the save point. One of these... Oh, that, that just opens, okay. And then we got this here. And I believe, other than Torian and Criteria, we're done? Can I get to... Oh, it's probably speed boost stuff. Can I get to Criteria from here now? Oh, it's power bomb stuff, not speed boost stuff. Or, yeah, now this is... Okay, and this shoots me up to Criteria. Hi. Uh, and this puts me in a place. I don't trust there to not be, like, a strong enemy through here. Oh, and then this is- this connects to here. That is absolutely a speed boost rock. Um...
Or maybe it's not. Maybe it's a power. Like, I assumed it was, like, making me speed boost, like, all the way up through here. Nope, it's not. I jumped the gun. Okay. And then I believe this leads back to... Yeah, this leads back to Torian. So from here... I can get the two... The two Torian things. Let's just drop all the way down. And there's like one here, I think. Oh my god. And then, yeah, one thing here. I am honestly disgusted. Oh, this still hurts me. I'm honestly disgusted with how much they overuse speed boost here. What's it even want from me here? Okay, you know what? I probably just shoot all the way across with across this. Does this break with speed boost? No, it doesn't. Then I have no idea. <laughs> Okay, yeah, it wants me to maintain it like that, because that, it does, I knew know it, I did know it maintained like that. So yeah, it wants us to maintain it like that and then jump into the next room and, like, break the wall. Okay. Damn it! This one right at the end is gonna be the biggest pain in the ass. <laughs> no, come on! I made it into the room, come on! What? <laughs> Why was I just automatically standing? I should have at least had a frame of me in, <laughs> in freaking screw attack, because I did enter the room that way. Okay, so I need to, like, when I enter the room, I need to immediately jump. It would also help if the jump button would work. Because <laughs> I definitely pressed it there. Okay, there we go. And where's the item? I was about to go, if I missed more because of speed boost stuff, I was gonna be very, uh, not pleased. <sighs> so all that is left is the confusing mess that is Chizodia, or not Chizodia, Criteria's speed boost puzzles. Okay.
Okay, so we can break through this. Is this all speed boost or just the bottom? Okay, just the bottom. So we can break through that with speed boost. And then what can we do with it? If, let's say I jump here and then go to the corner like that from there, no. Not high enough, so I need, what if I do it from here? Nor top, mm, still not high enough. <laughs> From this! <sighs> Can't give up until I've expended every opportunity there. What the hell? How did I turn into a fastball there? I do not understand. But I shall not complain. Ooh. If I was just a bit further to the... No, it wouldn't have worked, probably. Because this is a straight shoot. It needs me to to go perfectly. It can't be a straight shoot. There's no place to go straight to it. I'm gonna try it from here again. Except, again, a little bit from to the right, as you saw there, just to see. Um... Yeah, let's not go into go into Shinesburg mode early, because then we won't have enough have enough juice to make it to where we need to be. Okay, yeah, no, that doesn't look like it'll work. Not for uh... I just need to be... from the correct spot. Because I, I was correct that it is not a straight shoot. So I think I have... the right idea, just the wrong placement of it. Like, maybe that. That was an overshoot. But, like, I think I got it. That place is flat. Maybe that's where it wants me to stand. Maybe if I stand there but a little bit to the right, it'll give me just the... just the real estate I need. Like, if I do that, will it give me just the real estate I need to... Man, it wants me to be exact, huh? That's almost absurdly precise. What if right from the door... Overshoot. Here's the thing, I know I have the right idea. Again, it's just it absurdly precise. So I just need to find the right exact spot. I want to say it's this because there's like an entire divot cut out for it, but it doesn't seem to be so. Oh, you know what? 
I think I'm over. I think I'm overthinking this a little bit. I have a way to make myself smaller. So what if I? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh, but the other the other two items are what I'm immensely confused about now. Let me let me look around a little bit more, cause. The only place I found earlier that I could shine spark from was here, or that I could speed boost at all from was here. But I feel like it, one, barely gives you enough runway space, and two, I don't see how you can maintain that shine spark to get to that. Or to up here. So... Oh. I think I have it. <laughs> it's it's just this this place from from uh Chizodia. So, let's see. Where do I want to Okay, so I think yeah, I think I know how to get to that one. I just need to drop down to that platform below and ball spark to it. Because Ball Spark lifts you. I don't know why it didn't give me speed boost there. Oh, I just clearly didn't have enough runway space at all. But, um. Okay, because Ball Sparking gives you just enough. Yeah, it gives you enough lift that it'll do that. Okay, cool. Uh, please free me. I don't want to go back around. Okay, good. Okay, and then up here is Shine Spark as well, yes? Do I have enough time to jump around like that? Perhaps? Only one way to find out. It's gotta be close, for sure but it's the only thing I can really think of that makes sense, so we... we... Uh, just barely, I think. I have to be perfect, though. Transforming into a ball certainly didn't help me. That, uh, definitely hurt. <laughs> hurt my time. Ugh. <laughs> oh, yeah, there's definitely just barely enough time. I, again, I gotta be perfect for it, but that's... That's how it's done. Okay. Ugh, that sucks. Give me a, a little bit more. Give me a little bit more uh, wiggle room. Jesus Christ. This game making me 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 ta do task tricks with a GameCube controller. <laughs> That's what it feels like, anyhow. God damn it. <laughs> Gotta be machine perfect with an imperfect controller. <laughs> mm, absolutely not. Gotcha! Okay. I think I have everything. I'm gonna go to a Chizodia save point, and then check my, like, totals. Uh, over here, I think. Yeah, missile. Just to, like, make sure, because I, I, I'm not going through all that just to not get everything. Um, we want to go up and around. But I think that's it, so... <sighs> I think I'm missing a missile somewhere, then. 
because I think it's t according to this, it's two fifty thirty and uh two fifty thirty and eighteen. So what missile am I missing? <laughs> I'm missing it in criteria. That oh that sucks. Um or not criteria, I'm missing it in Brinstar. I was so certain I had everything there that I just didn't view that map as thoroughly as the other ones, I think, so I skipped over it. Okay. Uh be right back, real quick. So, remember much earlier when I did a thing about checking the, uh, these little, like, loading point rooms? Apparently I was not thorough enough. Because... The missile is above this. Though how do I get to it? I don't have a clue. I wonder... I wonder if I speed boost up. That's looking... Not... Nope, that is exactly what it wants. Okay. Cool. Oh yeah, yeah. Man. Okay, I'm like, I'm like, man, where does it want me to get all that speed from? And frankly, I'm still not quite sure where it wants me to get all that speed from. I'm not so sure there is a place to get it from here. Huh. That's just that. Maybe there's maybe there's a hidden a hidden body. Cause that shoots through here, so if I Yep. I was hoping the power bomb would would work as the speed booster. I'm kinda sad it didn't. That'd be really funny. Okay, now I have all the items. Now it is time to go and finish this game. We are we are back in in the area of progression. My guy, I'm trying to progress here. Can you like not be an utter asshole about it? Jesus Christ. <laughs> uh, I'm going to switch to super missiles actually for now. Unless it calls for a regular missile. Which it does. So we're gonna use a regular missile. There, now super missiles. Cause this this big room, this is obviously a boss room. Oh, that's what this Ridley is from. So I, I played a Flash game back in the day that was like, you were playing as Mario uh, versus a bunch of classic bosses, so you have to hit that thing in its, on its chest. And there was, this boss was there, and I was never, and I never knew which Metroid game it was from, so it's from this one. Okay. But also, this doesn't make sense! Because he's not Mecha... This takes place. This would take place before Super. Before Super Metroid, but he's not Mecha. 
in Super Metroid. So, why? Unless this is just a robot and not like... Oh, I'm dying. Yep. And not like the rebuild of... Not like a rebuild of Rin, well, Ridley. This is just a robot replica, I guess. But if it's a rebuild of Ridley, then it, it, it just straight up doesn't make sense. Because Ridley is alive in a game that takes place after this. So why the hell would there be a mecha version of him now? I don't know. It, it must just be, like, a robot replica, then. Not meant to, like, be, like, cyborg Ridley. You know? That's the only way that makes sense. The other explanation is that there's- it's- oh, it's different Ridleys in the same species. No, it's the same Ridley. I know that for sure. But, weird. But location-wise, it also makes sense that they're trying to rebuild Ridley, because this is the same ship that Ridley came in on, yeah? So it makes sense that they're, like, trying to preserve his life energy here. Alright, let's play a bit more defensively this time. Let's dodge the fire, dodge the claw, and now's our chance to attack. Okay, head down. What's he doing? Lasers. Guns. Okay. Damn, that claw hurts. I thought he was gonna shoot missiles after. There's the missiles. There we go. Can I get... I wanted... Oh, I wanted to get at least a shot in. Gonna jump up here, and now's chance to attack. Only one super missile, huh? What if I go into the corner like that? That also works. Only getting one shot in at a time sure sucks. Well, back to regular missiles. Oh, okay. He's red, so that that means he's he's got to be almost there. Ow. That claw hurts a lot and has pretty obscene reach. Oof. I just gotta, like, space jump in the corner like this, I think, until I get an opening to attack. Because <laughs> this protects me from the missiles, as well as the arms. Not the lasers, though. Yeah, I think for now this is just the play. Hey, super missile. Ow, that hurt a lot. I can't take any damage now. It sucks how precise I gotta be, too. Oh my god, damn! That claw's reach is insane. There's like very little safe, a very little like, yeah, a very. What phrase am I trying to think of? There's not a lot of safe area, a safe zone. There's not really a safe zone from it. There you go. Like, sure, if you're space jumping in the top left, there's, you can avoid it, but like as seen there, it can still hit you. So like, damn, that's just brutal. And like, as you saw, he does an absurd amount of damage too. 
That's rough. What if we use our regular missiles against, like, the glass chamber and then switch to our super missiles? Because it seems like we only get one shot against the, the core. So we might want to save all our supers for that. Okay, he's still... He still has that reach. There we go. That's that's what we want. Oh, hello fireballs. Oh, twice in a row, huh? Thrice. Okay, this is getting stupid. <laughs> this is getting really dumb. Come on, man! Make yourself vulnerable for me. I guess he's probably vulnerable while he's doing this, but, like, not in a way that is inherently safe for me to attack. Damn, this takes a lot of hits with just missiles, huh? So yeah, I think, I think saving the super missiles for phase two was the, is the play. Because I think killing him on phase two with regular missiles is going to take an absurd amount of time. There we go. Okay, phase two. So I can get multiple in. It's just harder, I think. Okay. I think I think I understand this fight now. Okay, he's red. All right, I think now that he's red, I really only have Yeah, I only have time to get one shot in now. So let's not Let's not get greedy. Uh, and let's actually hit our shots, please. I said please. There we go! And now... He's... Wow, that is a lot of health. Uh, the fact that it's giving me so much health is... Worrisome. Um... Hi! Self-destruct mechanism activated! Again?! How many times is, is Samus going to blow up planet Zebus? I think... Oh, that makes sense. Because I, I think that that's been... Once already at the beginning of the game. Now we're doing it again. And then we do it again in Super Metroid. Um... Ah. So, like... This poor planet just gets destroyed so often. It's a bit unnecessary, I think. Wouldn't wouldn't you say? Where am I going? Um this way. Like, no wonder the no wonder Zabetians just freaking hate Samus. Every time she shows up, she disrupts their entire ecosystem. More than once in the same visit, sometimes, apparently. So like, yeah, if if some bounty hunter came to my planet and I knew she was going to blow up my planet, I'd be a bit miffed too, wouldn't you be? <laughs> We're the real villains here. I'm just gonna use the power bomb to, yeah, just expedite that process. Can't go that way, I guess. So back up we go. Ah, 
I have no idea where <laughs> where this game's even taking me now. Back to the hangar, that makes sense. Oh no. Oh no. Get out of the way! Move! Like, I have enough time, but also move! You asshole! This planet is a- or at least this ship is about to explode! Okay, are these doors open now? I can't tell if these guys are even t Okay, they are taking damage. I wasn't sure. Are you opening? Okay, you're in. Hey! <laughs> Trying to ambush me? Alright, we're out! He's trying. He sure tried. Like, props, props for the attempt. It was a futile attempt, but props for trying. Oh yeah, that's absolutely gonna cause some problems in the, in the Zebus atmosphere. Mission accomplished! So I guess that was Metroid Zero Mission. That was a lot of fun. That was a lot of fun. I... I'm trying to like compare it against the first one in my mind. I think I like the first one more, but also that's because... That's because I just kind of like the complete aimlessness of the first one, where this one guides you a lot more. But, like, that's just personal preference. I do think this one is the better game. So, like, that that's just a little bit of taste, I guess. But, no, I had a lot of fun with it. I think it was really cool um, seeing, like, just the spin of Super Metroid, I guess, attached to the first game. And I liked the new areas it added. I think it added a lot more intrigue to the world, like Criteria and Chozodia just showing a whole bunch of Chozo stuff and a little bit of Samus's implied past. I think that was really cool. Um, yeah, I, I just as a whole, I liked it a lot. My only real criticism, other than the forcing the waypoints on you sometimes, but whatever. You can ignore them. It's fine. Uh, and they're and they're there to guide to guide you. So like, it's fine that they're there. And I I just wish there was an, a more of like an option to just flat out turn them off. But like, it's fine. I sound like I'm being passive aggressive and petty, but like I I mean it. Like it, it, that's okay. But my only other real complaint, as I, I mentioned a lot in this video, is a bit of an over-reliance in the Shine Spark puzzles in the, the end game. They probably could have done more unique things there, rather than just break your hand doing Shine Spark puzzles over and over again. Uh, ooh, this is where we got the, the power suit. What do we... Oh, little Samus's little carvings of her and her bird dads. Oh, that's really cute. I like that a lot. But yeah, as a whole, I I enjoyed this a lot. Um, and I'm I'm very, ew. It's gonna tell me how slow I played this game. How bad did I do, Samus? Clear time. Almost six hours, but my rate for collecting items is a hundred percent. Oh, Samus is so pretty. <laughs> Almost six hours. That was maybe maybe a bit long. Uh, <laughs> that's okay. But uh, yeah.
I guess that's the end. As I was saying, I enjoyed it a lot. I hope you enjoyed watching. If you did, please consider subscribing and leaving a like. And um, at some point in the future, it won't be immediately. I at least want to wait until that Super Nintendo adapter, Super Nintendo controller adapter comes in. I don't want to play another Metroid game on a GameCube D-pad. Um, I'm going to wait till that comes in at the very least. But at some point in the future, I will be doing Metroid Fusion. Again, it won't be immediately. I have some other games I want to play in the meantime as well. But until then... Thank you so very much for watching. I will see you next time. Original Metroid has been added to the options screen. What do you mean? Like, I know we have the gallery now, and this will- this just- I know this will just show off the, like, a little- Huh! So it's like the same thing that I I own this on the NES now, so I don't need to play this here. But it's the same thing that like um, Prince of Persia: Sands of Time does, where you get to unlock and play through the original game. That's really cool. That's that's a nice a nice inclusion. Anyway, I sidetracked. See you next time. All right.